Okay, so before we continue with the book, uh, we need to check the simple present versus present continuous. Okay, so we are going to check it out and we are going to analyze this part. Okay, Jorge is coming. Okay. So there are nine. Okay, so look at those sentences carefully and Itzel, you are going to tell me number one and two. Jose, you're going to tell me two and three. Victor, you are going to tell me uh, four and five. And Jorge, are you there, Jorge? Yeah, I'm here. All right, so. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Okay, Jorge, so look, look at these sentences carefully and you're going to tell me the answer for uh, sentence number six and seven, okay? So remember, okay. you need to choose whether to put those verbs in the present simple form or in the present continuous form. I mean, the ing, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. Thank All you. Right. Yep. Hey, teacher Miguel, good morning. Good morning, my dear students. How are you? How are you, Rafael? Doing fine, you? Fine, great, very good. All right. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. <clears throat> so it said, tell me, number one, how would you read that sentence? Okay, number one, cuckoos, not bill nest, they use they use the nest of the other birds. Okay, all right, but you need to use the auxiliary verb don't, right? Cuckoos don't build nests. Oh, okay, okay. Don't build. Don't build. Hmm? Okay, so perfect. Remember, you need to use, in some cases, you are going to need the auxiliary verb do or does, depending the case. Okay, okay all right, and number two. Uh, you can see Tom now. He is having a bath. Perfect. Uh -huh. He's having a bath. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Itzel. Okay, Jose, number three. How would you read number three? Yeah. Uh, he usually drinks coffee, but today he drinks tea. Okay. He usually drinks coffee. That's perfect. But today he's... Uh, he's drinking tea. He's drinking tea. All right, yeah. mm -hmm. perfect. Okay, and number uh, four. Four. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, what does she normally do in the evenings? Exactly, what does she normally do in the evenings? Perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Uh, Victor, number five, what would you do? Number okay, five. she usually play cards or watching TV. All right, she usually plays cards or watches TV, right? Watches, okay. Or watches TV. Mm -hmm. Perfect, okay, and number six? I want to go, uh, go out now as it rains and I haven't an umbrella. Mm, all right, not, not that much. Okay, as it is, as es como decir, porque en este momento, I want to go now as... Okay, it's raining. As it is raining, exactly. As it is raining. Okay. Y no tengo una sombrilla. And I haven't an umbrella. Mm, I haven't. Mm, not exactly. You need to use an auxiliary verb. I don't have. I don't have. Okay, so how would you read the whole sentence again? Okay. How would you read the sentence, the whole thing? Okay, I, I won't uh, go out now as it is raining and I don't have an umbrella. Exactly, perfect. Okay, all right, thank you. And Jorge, please, number seven. 
Okay, uh, he usually uh, is speak, so no, he's speaking so clearly that I cannot uh, understand him. All right, yeah, mm, kind of, he usually speaks. Kind of, okay. A kind of is más o menos, ¿no? yeah, kind of. Uh -huh. Okay, so he usually speaks so quickly that I cannot understand him. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So remember, uh, whenever you encounter words like usually, that means that uh, you need to put the verb in the present simple form. Mm -hmm. I usually okay. speak, I usually go to the, uh, to the cinema, whatever. Okay. All right, perfect. Uh, okay. Englishman es ingleses, right? Englishman very, very seldom means casi nunca. Englishman very seldom on the underground. Underground means en el subterráneo. Okay. So you want to say something like los ingleses casi nunca hablan en el subterráneo. Ellos prefieren leer sus periódicos. So how would you say that in English? Uh, an Englishman very seldom uh, talking on the underground. Mm, very seldom. Uh, if, if, if you say talking, you're saying los ingleses okay. casi nunca están hablando. Yeah. Uh, so it's uh, an Englishman very seldom talk uh -huh. on the underground. Uh -huh. They preferring, I don't see. <laughs> Mm. Ah, okay. Um, on they preferring to read their newspapers. All right. Mm, they prefer. They prefer to read their newspapers. Ah, yeah, it's the simple present, verb, Sim right? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, but okay. it's a it's a common thing. It's a rutinary action. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, finally, finally, uh, itself again. So I usually, do you understand all the words in this sentence, itself? Uh, okay. Um, I think just. All right. So how would you read it? I usually... Going? Mm, usualmente estoy yendo. Okay, I usually go uh -huh. by train, but, but this weekend I go by, no, this weekend I going by bus. All right. Uh -huh. It, um, it's taking, it's taking. Está, toma, ¿Está tomando mucho tiempo o normalmente toma mucho tiempo? It uh, is in the simple. It takes. It takes. It takes longer. Ajá. Uh -huh. But but is but it costs less. Exactly. It costs less. Right, so you said that, usualmente me voy en tren, pero esta semana, but this weekend, I'm going by bus. Right? Esta semana me estoy yendo en autobús. Toma más tiempo, it takes longer, but it costs less, pero cuesta menos. Así suena bien, ¿no? ¿Se uh, here, you, we use the, the very present continuous because you are talking about, uh, well, you have the word weekend in the um, 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 second sentence mm, well, okay. after the, the comma. You're using going in this case because it's something that you are doing around the time you are talking to. Remember, you can use present continuous when you want to say, ah, I'm working on a project, for example. Estoy trabajando en un proyecto, ¿no? Eso quiere decir que en los días posteriores al momento en el que dices eso, has estado haciendo eso. No lo haces normalmente, pero es lo que has estado haciendo estos últimos días o meses. No sé si me explico. Ajá, uh -huh. ok. 
Y usually means, usualmente es tu rutina, ¿no? Entonces, whenever you encounter the word usually, you need to put, I usually go by train. But this weekend, I'm going by bus. Okay, 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 I understand. All right, okay. yeah. Carla, good morning. How are you doing? Hi, Jean. Good morning. Fine, and you? Doing fine, thank you. Okay, Carla, join us. Um, we are we are doing these sentences, okay? So you need to choose whether to use uh, the present simple form or the simple present form, okay? So okay. Um, do you, you need to you, you need to say this sentence, okay? So I'm on the telephone and she's asking something, and Sally is responding something. Okay, so okay. look at it carefully and tell me how would you read that sentence. Are you doing anything at the moment, Sally? Perfect. Um, yes, I, I, I pack. Mm. I, yeah. She's doing that at the moment. At the moment, yes, I'm packing. Exactly. Yes, I'm packing. Okay. Yes, I'm packing. I I catch a plane to New York in three hours time. Mm. Catching. I'm catching because exactly. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. Because what? In, in in the the last case, it's not at the moment, but it's a, a specific time, right? Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So you are using present continuous to talk about the future. Yeah. Because you know when, right? In three hours yeah, time. You know when. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm catching the plane to New York in three hours time. Okay, exactly, perfect. Okay, yeah. so number 11, uh, Carla. Yeah, sure. Um, um, Marie, uh, Marie C, Peter standing at the bus stop. Yeah, Maris is Peter standing at the bus stop. Okay. Hello, Peter. Uh, was bus waiting for? Mm, what bus? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, it's uh, but you're missing one word. Is is what bus is is waiting for? Mm, if she's talking to Peter, so. What bus are you, are, what bus what? Are you? Are you. Are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. Okay. And Peter says. Hello, Mari. I'm waiting for a nine to 40. Okay. Yeah. I'm waiting 14. for nine to, four, nine to 14. Mm -hmm. So yeah. perfect. So all those actions are happening at the moment, right? So I'm waiting. What bus are you waiting for? Okay, mm -hmm. I'm waiting for a 9 to 14. Okay, exactly. All right, perfect. And finally, Victor, Victor, how would you respond number 11? Uh, you usually... Uh, Goes to work by bus. You usually go in this case. Yeah. Oh, uh, you okay? And Peter, yes. With the car, belongs. Uh, mm -hmm. Belongs to my mother, and she sometimes uh, wants. Exactly, wants it. She. Is using exactly. Mm -hmm. Is using it today to take a pit to the dentist. Exactly. Mm -hmm. She's using it today to take pit to the dentist. Lo está usando ahorita, ¿no? Para llevar a pit mm -hmm. a dentist. Okay, exactly. So, okay, so we are going to finish here. So my point is, remember, you always need to be careful whenever you are using simple present or present continuous. Remember, present simple is when you want to express something routinary. 
Mm -hmm. Simple present, something that I usually do. So whenever you encounter words like, uh, for example, let's say, oh, Isaac's coming. Words like usually, usually, never, always, usually, never, always, Okay. Sometimes. Sometimes, yep. All right. Words like those. And remember, you are going to find uh, more exercises with this in the recreo part. So remember, you need to be doing your recreo activities all, all the time. Sometimes, usually. And remember, you are going to use uh, present continuous whenever you are using words like now or phrases like at the moment or phrases like uh, right now, for example. Okay, and remember, you can also use present continuous to talk about an action that you have been doing recently. An action que han estado haciendo recientemente, no? For example, I'm working on my thesis. Estoy trabajando en mi tesis. Eso quiere decir que en los últimos días o en el tiempo anterior al el que están hablando han estado haciendo eso. I'm working on my thesis, I'm doing some exercise, I'm doing uh, some, whatever, some projects, okay? All right, so remember, you need to keep working on your recreo activities, so you will find out more about this, okay? Is that clear? Yep. Yes. Yes. Thank you. All right, perfect. So now we can continue to uh, the touchstone part. And... Today, we are going to talk about healthy living. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we are going to read these extracts. Mm -hmm. But first, I want you to analyze the reading and tell me and tell me which words are going to connect together. Okay, so uh, Jorge, let's say you are going to read Brian Jones. Jorge, you're going to read Brian Jones. Okay. So analyze. I say you the connected words. Yeah. Not? Yeah, yep, first okay. an analyze the text and okay. you tell me the words that are going together. Okay. Okay, Brian and Carla, you are going to read Carmen Sanchez. Yeah, sure. Okay, so, uh, okay. Yep. Carmen and Victor, you are going to read the parks. So analyze it, take your time. And uh, 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 Jose, you are going to read Michael Evans. Clevens and uh, Itzel, you are going to read uh, Lisa da Silva. Lisa da Silva. And finally, Isaac, are you there? Yes, teacher. Hi. Hey, good morning. Okay, Isaac, you are going to read Me Ling Ju. Okay, teacher. So let's say you have uh, three minutes to analyze the text and connect the words. If you don't know the meaning of some word, you can tell me.
if you're ready, you can tell me. I guess I'm ready. <laughs> All right. Okay, Jorge. So tell me, which words are going together in that reading? Uh, I think connect the word in the... Um, don't eat. All right. Yeah, I don't eat. All right. Uh, I, I think is the don't eat a lot. A lot of. <laughs> exactly. A lot of. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Um, again, is uh, I don't need. I don't need. Okay. Yeah. I don't need. I don't. Uh -huh. Okay. Middle. Middle. All right. Middle. 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 Uh huh. Middle. No, I don't. Don't It's print. Uh, I think meeting, meet me, no, no, right? Uh, getting, getting, mm, it's getting me, mm, not exactly. Well, no, it's getting me, getting me, getting me. So you have me, which is an e, and then in, and then in. Okay. So you have two e's, right? So you are going just to pronounce one e, getting me in good shape. Getting. I guess in the old. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, right <laughs> which one? Well, it's fine or not? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so you, you find a connected speech. Yeah, so we are going to practice. Okay, first, so okay. I don't eat. How would you say I don't eat? I don't eat. I don't need a lot of. I don't need a, a lot of. Okay, a lot of junk food. A lot of food. Junk. No, a lot of junk food. A lot of junk food. Okay, I don't eat. I don't eat. Red meat at all. Meat at all. Okay, red meat at meat at all. Meat at all. Okay, meat at all. A ver, di meat at all. Meat at all. All right, red meat at all. <laughs> meat at all. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so it's getting me in shape. Getting me in shape. Getting me in shape. Okay, all right, getting in shape, exactly. All right, mm -hmm. so now you can read the whole text. So how would you read that? Okay, well, I generally don't eat a lot of junk food and I don't eat read meat at all. Meat at all? Meat at all, <laughs> sorry. And right now I don't, sorry. Um... And right now I'm doing karate. It's getting mean. So it's getting mean, verdad? Uh -huh. Shape quick. Okay. It's getting mean. It's getting mean shape quick. Okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Jorge. All right. And okay. So who's next? Um, let's say, okay. I think me. All right. Okay, yeah, Carla, are you done? Uh, yeah, I think. Um, okay. I'm trying. It's like. A, um, okay. I'm, I'm trying. I'm okay. I'm trying. Mm, I'm trying to <laughs> use. Okay, you can connect those words. I'm trying to lose. Okay, what else? Uh, um, actually, I, I don't find like. Uh, the the past example like a, 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 a lot of or something like that because I don't have the mm -hmm. it's consonants or uh -huh. exactly yeah. yeah not all texts have a lot of uh, connected speech like yeah, this one exactly. mm -hmm. yeah. so so I'm drinking so I'm drinking uh, perhaps so you can... yeah exactly so I'm drinking yeah this is the other that I have and I think that's it that's it yeah exactly Okay, so how would you read that part? Yeah. 
Um, right now, I'm trying to lose weight before my school re reunion. Reunion? Reunion? Reunion. Reunion. Um, right now, I'm trying to lose my... I'm trying to lose weight before my school reunion. So I so I am drink these diets, these no, so I'm drink these diet drinks for dinner. Okay, so how would you say so I'm drinking? Yeah, drinking. So I am drinking these diet drinks for dinner. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Thank you, Carla. Yep. Okay. Um okay, Victor, are you ready? Yes. Okay. okay. So, do you have? Did you find some connected speech? Uh, yeah. Uh, I use this um, a week. Uh, okay. Uh, to, days, to days, days a week. Exactly. Yeah. Um, you need go swimming. Mm, well, there is no swimming every. Okay, swimming every. You can connect those. Swimming every swimming other day. Every other day. Okay. All right, what else? And we finish a while. Uh, which in one? A while. Ah, in a while. Okay, in a while. Yeah, once in a while. All that, all that phrase. Once in a, right? Once in a. Once in a while. All right, perfect. Do you, do you have any more connected speech? No, just that. All right, perfect. Okay, so how would you say days in a week? Days a week. Sorry. Days a week. Days okay. a week. Days a week. So one sina. How would you say just that part? One sina. One sina while. One sina. Okay. All right. Once in a while. Once in a while. All right. Perfect. So how would you read the whole sentence? Yeah. We exercise six days a week. We go swimming every other day. And in between, we go to the gym. And once in a while, we go hiking. Exactly. Perfect. All right. Thank you, Victor. That was great. Okay. Okay. Who goes next? Who wants to go next? Me. Okay, Itzel. So, which connected speech did you find? Uh, kind, of, kind of it. Uh, okay. Uh, so... Lisa da Silva. Okay, Lisa da Silva. Okay. Uh, which one? Sorry. Kind of it. A kind of it. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. um, I think everything I want. Everything I want, exactly, because the G's in the middle of words do not, doesn't sound. Don't sound. Remember, the G's, o sea, everything, termina con una G, no? Mm -hmm. So you don't pronounce that one. So perfect, everything I want. Okay, yeah, what else? Um, Stay in. All right. Stay in. Stay in. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. All right. Perfect. Mm -hmm. So how would you say kind of it? Kind of it. Can you repeat? Yeah. Kind of fit. Kind of. You, you pronounce the, the F? Uh -huh. Kind of. Kind of it. Kind of. And I connect the EDF with it. I kind of, kind of it, kind of it. Kind of it. Exactly. Everything, everything I. Everything I. Exactly. Ahora, everything I want. Everything I want. Exactly. Stay in. Stay in. Stay in shape. Stay in shape. Exactly. Perfect. So how would you read the whole sentence? Not really. I can. <laughs> Kind of it, mm -hmm. everything, not really, I cannot, <laughs> not really, I cannot eat everything I want. I don't do anything to say in shape. I'm just lucky, I guess. Perfectly fine. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Tell. And okay. So, okay. Who wants to go next? Uh, me. All right, Jose. So. Michelle Evan, okay, Michael Evans. Okay, yeah. so which connected speech did you find there? Uh, the first one is a uh, Zoom meeting. Uh, 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 what? Which then, one? Ah, doing doing anything. Uh, no. So I'm meeting. 
which one are you are you reading? Uh, Michael Evans, right? Yep. Okay, I'm meeting. Uh, I'm meeting. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm meeting. I'm meeting. Okay. What else? Uh, a lot of the snacks. Oh, a lot. Of. A lot of exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Mm -hmm. Exercise at all. Exercise at all. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Did you find any other connected speech? Um, maybe uh, to be honest, but I'm not, sure. um, not not perhaps not not exactly. Maybe so, I'm I'm studying. Remember, whenever uh, you have a word that have an S, you need to connect that S with with the previous word, which is I'm. I'm. How would you say I'm? I'm studying. Exactly. I'm studying sounds quite different from I'm studying, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm studying and okay. So, and I'm not, and I'm, yeah. Whenever you have and, and then a pronoun and I, and I'm not. So how would you say, and I'm not. And I'm not. And I'm not. Okay. So I'm studying. How would you say that? I'm, I'm studying. I'm studying. Okay. I'm eating. I'm meeting. I'm meeting a lot of. I'm meeting a lot of. Exactly. And I'm not. And I'm not. Exercise at all. Any exercise at all. Exactly. Okay. So how would you read the whole sentence? Um, to be honest, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm starting for exam this month. So I'm meeting a lot, a lot of snacks. And I'm not getting any exercise at all. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. <clears throat> Perfect, Jose. And finally, Isaac. Okay, did you find some connected speech? Uh, yes, teacher. Maybe have, have a car. Okay, have, have a car, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, get, a, get enough. All right, yeah, get enough. Get, get enough. enough. Get enough. Yeah, remember, you have a T, which is in mm -hmm. the middle of E and another E. So you need to change that T into an R. Get it, get it, get enough. Get enough. Get enough. Exactly, get enough. Okay, right. Okay. Well, so how would you, how would you say have a car? Uh, have a car. Right. Now, get enough. Get enough. Uh -huh. And remember, the H and the G at the end makes an F. Enough. Mm -hmm. So again, how would you say get enough? Get enough. Exactly. All right. How would you read the whole sentence? Well, I walk everywhere I go because I don't have a car. So I think get it, get it, get enough. Exercise. All right. Yeah. Get enough exercise. Exactly. All right. Thank you, Isaac. Okay. So as you can see, connected speech is everywhere. All the time. Whenever you are going to say in English, you are going to encounter connected speech. Okay. Perfect. So uh, I'm going to close the session and open it again. Okay. So don't go. Okay, so we are going to continue with the next part, and it says here, uh, uh, okay, so it says here, listen to the on, on the street interviews, who do you think has a healthy lifestyle and why? Okay, so we are going to hear some interviews, and you need to take notes, you need to take notes for the names and who has a healthy lifestyle, okay? And why? You need to explain why, depending on what you heard in the audio. Okay, so here we go. Let me check. Uh, share sound. Share. All right, so here we go. Is, is that clear what you have to do? Yeah, it's clear. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Page 22. Unit 3. Health. Lesson A. Healthy living. 1. Getting started. A. Listen to the on-the-street interviews. 
Who do you think has a healthy lifestyle? Why? Are you doing anything to stay healthy? Brian Jones Well, I generally don't eat a lot of junk food, and I don't eat red meat at all. And right now I'm doing karate. It's getting me in shape quick. Okay, so we have the same, right? <laughs> the same extracts. So I want you to pay attention to those parts in which you mark the connected speech. It's getting me in shape, he said. All right, so I want you to pay attention to the parts that you mark on your text. Okay. Lisa De Silva. Not really. I kind of eat everything I want. I don't do anything to stay in shape. I'm just lucky, I guess. So, okay, did you hear stay in shape? Stay in shape. Michael Evans. Um, to be honest, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm studying for exams this month. Okay, so did you hear that part? I'm studying. I'm, I'm studying. So I'm eating a lot of snacks and I'm not getting any exercise at all. Carmen Sanchez. Um, right now I'm trying to lose weight before my school reunion. So I'm drinking these diet drinks for dinner. Mailing you. Well, I walk everywhere I go because I don't have a car, so I think I get enough exercise. The parks. Yeah, we exercise six days a week. We go swimming every other day, and in between, we go to the gym. And once in a while, we go hiking. Okay, all right, so... Okay, Victor, in your opinion, who has the best lifestyle, the most healthy lifestyle, in your opinion? I guess the parks. Parks, okay, why is that? Because uh, they have a specific routine for the exercise. All right, okay, mm -hmm. all right, thank you. Okay, Jorge, in your opinion, who has the best lifestyle and the most healthy lifestyle, in your opinion, Jorge, and why? Okay, I think the the parks because he go uh, the swimming and the earth exercise and uh, he go to the gym. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Carla. Do you agree okay. with them? Do you agree with them? Is the parks who has the best lifestyle, the most healthy lifestyle? Uh, no, um, for me, no. Uh, probably Brian Jones because he do exercise and also he eat, uh, he eat um, healthy, no? All he right. didn't eat red meat and, and he didn't eat uh, a lot of junk food. So probably Brian has the, the, the two ones, no? The correct alimentation and exercise. All right, all right, perfect. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Okay, thank you, Carla. Thank you. And okay, it's held in your opinion, who has the best lifestyle, the most healthy lifestyle? The same to, to Carla, because I think the parts is, they, they made a lot of exercise, but they don't say anything about the, the food, for mm -hmm. example. Okay. I have a question. What is junk food like? Okay. Brian? Junk food is uh, like pizzas, hamburgers, Doritos, you know? Okay. okay. Chatarra. All right. Yeah. And junk, it's a word which is related to uh, something unhealthy. Unhealthy. That's why you have this word. Have you ever heard this word junkie? Have you ever seen junkie? No? Yep. What is a junkie, Jorge? He's what, um, I don't know, I guess the, 
how the crazy on the um, uh -huh. when you're smoke the marijuana and the tripping, for example. Yeah, but, yeah, junkie is a drug addict, right? Yeah. That's Junkie, so someone who uh, eats or smokes or consumes a lot of <laughs> a lot of trash. Uh huh. <laughs> so that's a junkie. All right. Yeah. So perfect. It said okay. And Isaac, what's your opinion on this? Who has the best lifestyle and why? Uh, in in my opinion, I agree with uh, uh, Carla and Itzel because I think the. Today's food has a lot of bad things that do uh, do harm, and I think the good uh, food to have a properties that exercise don't have. Okay. And in my opinion, I think if you try to don't eat a lot of junk food, you maybe it's not necessary uh, do all the week or all the month uh, do exercise. All right. Yeah, it's a good point. All right, thank you, Isaac. Okay, and finally, Jose, who do you agree with? Who do you agree with? It's Ryan Jones uh, or it's a park or someone someone else? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I think the parks because uh, they do more exercise and yeah, uh, different kind of. Uh, Okay. But, yeah, maybe the food is uh, is very important. Also. Yeah, yeah. So perhaps we could say like Ryan Jones and the parks are the most healthy, you know, in this group. Let's say. Okay. All right. Thank you. Perfectly fine. So it says here: complete these sentences with a simple present or present continuous verb. Use the interviews to help you. Are these sentences true for you? Tell a partner. Okay, so ah, we're exactly six. So it said, please, you do number one, Jose, number two, Victor, number three, Jorge, number four, Carla, number six, and finally, Isaac, number, ah, <laughs> no, do we have number, nah, number six, sorry. So it said number one, Jose, number two, Victor, number three, Jorge, number four, Carla, number six five sorry carla number five and isaac number six okay so let's say you have one minute to do this so if you're ready you can go ahead yeah number one i general generally don't eat junk food any junk food. All right, perfect. So you have another word to identify simple present. I generally, generally don't eat junk food. Generalmente no hago eso, no? no it's not part of my routine. Oh, it's part of my routine. Okay, perfect. Okay, and number two. Um, yeah, I usually get enough of this exercise. Okay, all right. So would you say get enough or get enough? Uh, get enough. All right. So, how would you read the sentence? I usually oh. get enough exercise. Exactly. All right. Thank you. And number three. Uh, three, I guess. We usually go to the gym every other day. All right. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. And number four. I guess the uh, I eating eating a lot of snacks in a lot of snacks this month. Okay, so uh, 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 I'm studying. I'm eating. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm eating a lot of snacks this month. This month, estoy comiendo un montón de 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 chuchulucos <laughs> este mes. Yeah. Entonces, exactamente, eso es lo que you are, you have been doing, right? I'm eating a lot of yeah. snacks this month. So how would you say it again? I'm eating a lot of. I'm eating a lot of. Okay, again, I'm eating a lot of snacks. I'm eating a lot of snacks this month. Okay, yeah. So remember, you have a word which ends with S, which is uh, S snacks. 
So you need to try to stick the S to the word of. So a lot of, a lot of snacks. A lot of snacks. Exactly. <laughs> if you separate that word, that, those words, if you separate those words, you're going to say something like a lot of snacks and you're going to put an E here. So we don't want okay. an E. All right, perfect. Okay, Jorge. Thank you. Yep, and number five. <laughs> Yeah, these days I'm not getting any exercise at all. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting any exercise at all. Okay. All right. Perfect. Thank you, Carla. And mm -hmm. finally, Isaac, how would you say in number six? Yes, teacher. Number six. Right now, I, I am trying to get in shape. All right. So would you say to get in shape or to get in shape? Get in shape. To get in shape. To get in shape. And why is that? Because you have you have a T, right? A T, which is in the middle of E and another E, which are vowels. So you need to change that into an R, get in shape. Try to get in shape. How would you say, I'm trying to get in shape? Okay, I'm trying to get in shape. Get in. Get in. Get in. In. Get in. Get in. Getting. Andale, without, sin una G, getting nada más. Getting. Getting shape. And exactly, getting shape. As if you were saying this one, getting. All right. Okay, perfect. Thank you. So remember, remember this, you need to take notes on this one because it happens a lot. And remember, whenever you encounter a word with that, let's say this one. How would you read this, Victor? Sorry, can you repeat this? Uh -huh. How would you read this? How would you read let's it? Let's start. All right. So remember, whenever you have an S and you have another sound right here, you need to stick that S to this word, because if you don't do that, you are likely to say something like, but start. So we don't have, we don't want to say, but start, but, but start, but start, but start. That way you eliminate that E. Recuerden que nosotros, como hablamos español, no tenemos palabras que comiencen con S. Y como no tenemos palabras que comiencen con S, lo que vamos a hacer es ponerle una E, ¿no? Ahí vamos a querer decir esto. That's why you need to stick that S to the previous word so you do not pronounce the E, but start, but start. Okay, so finally, Carla, how would you say but start? But start. But start. Okay, Jorge, but how? Start. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Jorge, how would you say but start? But start. Uh -huh. Itzel, how would you say but start? But start. All right. And Jose, how would you say, but start? But start. Mm -hmm. All right. And Isaac, how would you say, but start? But start. Exactly. So it's a little trick for you to use whenever you encounter an S. Para que no pongan la E, ¿no? Y no, digan, no digamos, but start. But S. No, no queremos decir but S, sino buts. All right. Perfect. So... We're going to continue with this part. And okay, so you already know the use of simple present and the use of present continuous. So remember, simple present, you are going to use it whenever you have words like usually or general, generally. So if you're talking about your routine, something routinary, algo rutinario. Mm -hmm. And you also going, you are going also to deal with the auxiliary verbs do, do, and thus, right? So remember that uh, do and does are auxiliary verbs. If you have he, she, and it, which one are you going to use, Carla? Do or does? 
when you use he, she, it? Mm -hmm. And does? Does. Mm -hmm. Does, yeah. Does. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And it says if you are using something like I or we or you or they, which one are you going to use? Do. Do. Mm -hmm. So another important thing is remember, those auxiliary verbs are not used in uh, affirmative sentences. In, in oraciones afirmativas, no ponen estos auxiliares. So remember, you always have four, four forms to say something, which is an affirmative way, affirmative, and interrogative. Interrogative way. Okay, and at the same time, you have affirmative positive and affirmative negative, interrogative positive and negative. So, for example, if you want to say something like, uh, mm, I like dogs, right? I like dogs. It's affirmative positive. I do not like dogs. I don't like dogs. That's affirmative negative. Do I like dogs? Do I like dogs? And finally, don't I like dogs? Don't I like dogs? So you need to pay attention to affirmative positive because that's the only ones in which you are not going to use any auxiliary verb. I like dogs. So you're not using don't in this one. You are going to use don't or do and don't. Mm -hmm. Es decir, van a aparecer, estos auxiliares aparecen en todas las ideas excepto en afirmativas positivas. Mm -hmm. Is that clear what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, it's clear. Okay, so have that in mind because whenever you are using simple present, you are going to encounter those auxiliary verbs. So that's why you need to have present that you don't use them in affirmative positive. Okay, so, so it says here, complete the conversations with a simple present or present continuous and then practice with a partner. Okay, well, so we are going to analyze first the vocabulary in there. So how do you cope with, how do you cope with, cope with is Lidiar con. Mm -hmm. I cope with means yo lidio con. So how do you cope? How do you cope with means como lidias con. Okay. So we have, let's say. Okay. So it's cell. How would you answer, how would you, no, how would you formulate the second question? I stress a lot. What would you say? Are you, are you get stressed a lot? Are you get, um, not exactly, nope. So if you want. You huh? are getting stressed a lot? ¿Estás estresando mucho? Not exactly, nope. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, so look at it carefully. It's not, are you getting? It's not, are you get? Do you get stressed a lot? Exactly, do you get stressed a lot? All right, mm -hmm. okay, thank you. And Jose, how would you respond to that? Well, generally, generally, what? Uh, well, generally, I don't feel stressed, but we um, work a long hours this month. Mm, you're doing that in the previous time. Ah, okay. Um, we are working long hours this month. Okay, exactly. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. 
So my coworkers announced I'm taking an invitation to a drama. Uh huh. Relax you. Okay, I couldn't hear you, but uh, yeah, relax you. Do you, do you have the microphone on? Uh, yep. Okay. Well, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, well, generally, I don't feel stressed, but we are working long hours this month. So, my coworkers and I are taking a meditation class right now. It's great. Meditation really relaxes you. Okay. All right. So, uh, bueno, chicos, recuerden, tienen que estar haciendo, eh, practicando esto, ¿sale? Esto, recuerden, el presente continuo van a lidiar con auxiliares am, is y are, más el verbo en ing. Y con simple present, you are going to deal with do and does. All right. So, please, finish this part. This part right here. And um, we are going to keep working on this. And we are going to explain some other things you need to know about simple present and present continuous, okay? So you don't have homework, but to keep doing your recreative activities because we are checking that, okay? Sorry, can you scroll to take a screenshot? Yeah, sure. It's there. So you also have the other exercise, the one we were doing at the beginning of the class. You also have that in the Jammer group. So if you want to keep practicing the difference between simple present and present continuous, you can go and have a look at it. Okay. So is that clear what you have to do? Yeah. Yeah. So don't you have any questions with this? No, teacher. No. All right. So, okay. See you on... No, I don't have questions. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. So see you on Tuesday. Take care. Have a nice weekend. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank See you. you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Thank you everyone.